Hello everyone. This is going to be a video response to San Castroches in regards to the uh, homemade fire piston I, I created. Uh, basically, it's made out of half inch aluminum tubing and the corresponding stock that will actually fit inside. Um, as you can see, it came out fairly well. Here's the end I had to seal up. Um, it's pretty compact. Everything is self-contained. Um, I did include a little finger groove here to extract the uh, piston from the cylinder. And as you can see, it is solid. Here's the end. Here's the sealed unit of the, the tubing itself of the cylinder. So what I'm going to demonstrate, or hopefully, is the ignition of the char cord. I use char cord instead of char cloth. It just seems to give me a little more burn time. Um, I'll also cut off a little extra here so I can uh, light it once the fire piston is ignited. And um, we'll do a comparison to see how long the char cord burns outside of the piston versus out, uh, inside of the piston. So we'll take a look at it and see what happens here. What I have here is just Vaseline. We're going to just lubricate up the uh, O-ring here very lightly. Get a little bit inside around the O-ring. And then we're going to go ahead and load up the end of the piston. Just take a piece of the char cord and kind of roll it. Roll it up here. And then what I do is I just load it into the tip. And once loaded, we're ready to go. It's ready to fire. Go ahead and put her in. And this probably isn't going to come out showing my whole action. You'll probably just see the stem part of it and then the ignited in. But uh, we'll give it a shot and see how this looks. And hopefully we have ignition. And there you go. It uh, ignites fairly easy. And it ignites... every single time um, works well and as you can see or as you'll notice here as we just watch this burn down and stay lit the uh, char cord that's actually inside the piston itself um, has just such a longer burn time than the one outside of the uh, the piston, uh, due to oxygen, of course, you know, the more air, the more flame, and it just burns through this. But as you'll notice, the uh, char cord that's loaded into the piston itself, it's just burning and burning and burning. Uh, I need to get something here to set this down on. I'm going to end up burning myself. But um, as you can see, the uh, char cord that's um, here on the ruler now it's just about gone. It's all the way burned through. But the char cloth that's loaded in the piston is still raring to go. Uh, trying to blow over the camera so, and I don't want to get a lot of <laughs> A wind noise in the video so I'm gonna just come to the side and show you how long this actually does burn uh, you can see we still have a little bit of a coal there in the the char cord that's off and uh, we'll just watch them burn down a little bit here
And what's amazing is you can actually just put this out, save your piece of charcoal, and you're loaded and ready to go uh, for the next fire you, you need to make. Um, basically, the only thing you'll have to do is uh, gather a piece of uh, char cloth or another piece of char cord and prep it, get it ready for uh, your tinder bundle, and you'll be ready to go. I'm actually surprised that we got a little coal here uh, from the external piece of char cloth that's still burning pretty well. It typically doesn't burn this long. Um, so a little bit surprised actually that's why I kind of blew into my baggie there with my surplus of char cord but uh, let's take a look here and as you can see we still have a coal she's still burning so say your first attempt at igniting your tinder bundle was a success, you can always just grab another piece of char cloth or char cord, reignite that piece, and uh, make a second attempt on another bundle. Um, but that's my demonstration. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post a comment. All comments would be uh, appreciated. Thanks for watching.